All right, you guys, Mr. Albert here, page 34, finger style examples. And I'm gonna start off with the one at the top of the page there. All right, so here it comes. This one's pretty simple um, in that it's just got some pretty simple chord changes and the EMA stays the same all the way through, which is nice. All right, so I'm gonna give you the right hand here first, okay? So it's pretty simple, except the thumb just switches strings once, which is nice. So it stays on the sixth string most of the time. Here it comes. changes it's best to just start with just one finger because you're not going to be using that fourth fourth finger there on the on the first string you're not going to need that that frees up these fingers to do that for the e minor and then you got a nice pivot leave your second finger in place for the a minor right and then what's really nice is this a minor jumps very easily to the d over f sharp d7 over f sharp which is this one finger movement okay so i'm gonna demonstrate that now here it comes You want to keep these nice and smooth so that they sound they flow each note has the same same amount of time you know you want to try not to pause between chords and all that anyway, here's the second one all right here um again uh the pima changes a little bit when you get to the d minor everything moves up to the higher tier and then stays in the higher tier for the g7 okay so all right so anyway here it comes Switch here. Okay, I'll give you the right hand now. So here's the right hand. thumb. So on that G7, you're just going to go. Okay, and then you're back to the C. Okay, so again, here you got the C, and it's a nice little one finger switch to the A minor. Okay, that's all you got to do is just bring that one down. Okay, so. you really only need to smooth this finger over you don't really need this one because you don't you don't play the fifth string so you just go because you're sticking with that higher tier okay so d minor Remember, you got to play all these four times through, okay? So it sounds like a song. And the last one, very cool. All these nice uh, G5s and hybrid chords and sus twos and everything. But the cool thing is you don't really make full chords for the most part. The D sus two is kind of a full chord, okay? But the C sus two, you really only lay down the, the third and the fourth finger here on the on the first and second strings of the of the third fret. And then you just put one of your fingers over here. You can put the second one over. I would actually use the third myself, even though it says second there, because um, then you can just go there 
and then there. Because what's, that's all you're really doing. You're just hitting the bass notes, going down, and then open, and then bass note, bass note, bass note. So it sounds like this. is the, uh, the, the back, I can't talk at the same time, but anyway, the, the, uh, the fifth string and the fourth string, or sixth string, both have the same pattern, it's three, two, zero, three, two, zero, okay, so get you a little closer to the right hand here now, all right, here it comes again. again. And if it doesn't, rewind this thing and watch it again. All right. Peace.